Now let's go through some of the uh, the common hadith about the virtue of the month. All right. Uh, the first hadith: Man sama Ramadan and iman and wahti saban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambihi. Whoever fasts Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, out of sincere faith and seeking Allah's reward, it's as if he's fasted. Or, I'm sorry, he would be forgiven for all of his past sins. What do you guys think? Sahih, right? Yeah, you're not that bad. We say that one every year, right? All right, then what about this hadith? Then? Um, Man qama Ramadan. Whoever stands up in Ramadan, meaning what? Praise the night praise in Ramadan. Iman and wahti saban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambihi. He'll be forgiven for all of his previous sins. Sahih or da'if? That one's authentic as well. Okay, what about this one? Man qama laylat al qadr. Iman and wahti saban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambihi. Whoever stands up just the night of laylat al qadr, seeking faith and reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he will be forgiven for all of his previous sins. Can someone take care of the kids back there, by the way, inshallah? If someone can, can do that. Is that authentic or weak? That one's strong as well. So these are three ahadith from the Prophet ﷺ that one word changes in each one, but they all guarantee the same reward. All right? If you stand up in sincere faith and prayer every night in Ramadan, then you will be forgiven for everything that you've done before. If you just catch Laylatul Qadr, you'll be forgiven for everything that you've done before. If you fast the month of Ramadan properly, then you'll be forgiven for everything that's been, that, that's been done before. The beauty of this hadith, the beauty of these three ahadith together, all right, that each one basically provides a chance for the other one. All right, meaning what? Let's say you didn't catch Laylatul Qadr for some reason, all right, but you fasted properly throughout the month then you'll get that reward. Let's say that you prayed Qiyamul Layl regularly throughout the month of Ramadan. And Qiyamul Layl is Taraweeh. You prayed Taraweeh prayer regularly throughout the month, but you didn't do anything extra on Laylatul Qadr, meaning you just prayed Taraweeh every night in Ramadan. If you did it properly, all of your previous sins are forgiven. All right? And let's say that your fasting was deficient and you missed a lot of nights of Taraweeh, you missed a lot of nights of Qiyamul Layl. But you were fortunate enough to catch Laylatul Qadr. You're forgiven for everything you've done before. You see the mercy of the Prophet ﷺ? Essentially the Prophet ﷺ is telling you, in this month you've got, you've got numerous opportunities to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be forgiven for your past sins. Right? So basically seek to do all three of them. And inshallah ta'ala, if one failed you, you'll get the other two. And if two failed you, you'll at least get one of them. Right? So this is what the Prophet mentions about the virtue of the...